morning, darling. Did you sleep good last night? Oh, yeah. Wow, you know, you really fixed up this place beautifully. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about the way it looked last night. I usually keep the place pretty tidy, but I just uh, separated things because I was airing everything out. Uh-huh. Well, you know, uh, Aunt Esther told me this place usually looks like a junkyard, outside and inside. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Aunt Esther's sense of humor. Have you noticed that, that most people with a sense of humor look like they've been punched in the face by mean Joe Green? <laughs> Oh, that's bean sauce uh, for the spaghetti. Uncle Fred, we having spaghetti for breakfast? No, honey, for dinner. Uh, bean sauce, spaghetti, collard greens, and spam almondine. <laughs> oh, well, uh, Uncle Fred, I can't eat here tonight. See, I'm meeting my roommates for dinner. Well, why can't you meet them after dinner? Oh, um, <clears throat> because uh, we have so many things to arrange and talk about and everything. Well, well, then, why don't you do this? Why don't you invite them over here? Uh, since I'm like your father here in Los Angeles, it'd be a pleasure for me to meet your friends. <laughs> uh, it'll be too much trouble, really. No, no, I'll just uh, make more sauce. That's too much work. No, I can handle it. I'll just add two more cups of water. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be comfortable with my roommates. Uh-oh, that's trouble. I, I, who is it? It's trouble from Tijuana. <laughs> Pop! Hello, hello, son. What, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? You don't want to call me, remember? But, but, but uh, I, I'm okay now. You can go back to Tijuana. <laughs> go back to Tijuana? I drove here as fast as I could because you said you were sick. Well, and by the way, who is this young lady? I'm your cousin, Elizabeth. Hi. Oh, hi. You're here to go to USC, aren't you? Right. And Lamont, thanks a lot for letting me use your room. Oh, it's okay. But I'll take the couch. No, it's all right. You stay in the room and I'll sleep on the couch. No problem. Well, listen, sir, why don't you go in and wash up and I'll put another cup of water on the stuff. <laughs> oh, we having spaghetti? <laughs> yeah, see, uh, Elizabeth's friend's coming over for dinner and uh, I want everything right. Uncle Fred, about dinner, I'm not sure. Hey, Lamont, tell her what a good cook I am. <laughs> uh, uh, Lamont, huh? Tell him. Uh, when it comes to his sauce, the more water, the better. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that sells it. Uh, your friend's here for dinner at six. I, I go in here and put my water on. <laughs> this is gonna be a very interesting dinner. Yeah, well, it always is when my pop is cooking. Hey, you know, you look a little like my mom. You know, that's what he said. You're very lucky to have him as a father. Think so? Oh, sure. As a matter of fact, he's been a little more to you than a father, hasn't he? More like a, a father and a mother. And a few other things. <laughs> Uncle Fred? Be right down, kitten. Bring your roomies in. Oh, OK. Come on, roomies. Hey, you really sure this uncle ain't gonna get crazy when you tell him I'm one of your roomies? Oh, I'm pretty sure. See, he's not at all like Aunt Esther. See, he's very modern and witty and up-to-date. Yeah, I can tell that by the way he furnished this place. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Yeah, my house is yours. Oh, what do we do wrong? Dolores. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Hey, that's okay. We just got here ourselves. Uncle Fred, Lamont, I want you, I want you to meet Louis and Dolores. Hi, Lou, Dolores. <laughs> yeah. Available, Dolores. 